The Olive 9s just came out and honestly, a ton of people are sleeping on them. But at the same time, I could understand why. I'm gonna be giving you guys an in-depth look at this shoe, going over all the styles, cuts, and materials, and we'll talk about the market value and all those other things later. But first, we gotta talk about the history. Back in 1993, 1994, we saw the Air Jordan 9s hit the streets in four classic colorways. You had the one that majority people know, and that's the white and black colorway. We saw him wearing these in the movie Space Jam, heavily throughout his practices as he made his way back to the NBA as well. We also saw the powder blue Air Jordan 9s, which is classic to the UNC colors, which makes sense, because that's his alma mater. And then we had the Olive Air Jordan 9, which is obviously not typical when it comes to Bulls colorways, college colorways, or even his baseball team. But there are images of Jordan wearing this shoe. Unlike the military fours, I still have yet to find a picture of him rocking that shoe. And then last but not least, we had the Charcoal Air Jordan 9s. Again, a very classic colorway. Also, if you didn't know, when they gave Michael Jordan his statue in front of the Chicago Bulls arena, they put the Air Jordan 9s on his statue as well. So now that you guys know a little bit about the history of the model, and I didn't even mention the PEs that came out during that time. Let's talk about all the iterations from 1993 to now in 2024. You had the original version in 93, then we saw another retro in 2002, we saw the Fusions in 2009, another retro in 2012, a boot in 2017, and then we have this retro here in 2024. Yes, I know you have the Concord retro, but that's not the OG colorway, so I guess technically you could count that from 2023, but in my opinion, doesn't count because <laughs> this is red and that's the Concord Purple, which is not the same shoe. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So let's go ahead and start with all the details of this sneaker, starting with the outsole first. Looking at the bottom, as you can see, you have a ton of different languages, symbols, different things like that. So let's go ahead and start from the toe and work our way to the heel. So at the top of the foot, you have different phrases, and I have the translations here for both feet. And then going to the ball of the foot, you're gonna have katakana and kanji here. And then you have your 1994 with the star in the center at the ball of the foot. Also, before I forget, you have the globe right here that's gonna be at the top of the toe. And then at the bottom of the heel right here, you have your 23 with the red Jumpman logo in the center of that. Now, one thing that I really liked about this as well, both of these outsoles are unique. They're not the same, they don't match, they don't mirror each other so even the two three the two is smaller on the other foot and the three is larger on the other foot and then even the text at the top of the toe is different on both of these shoes so it's dope to see how they have similarities but differences as well when it comes to the storytelling aspect on the outsole of this air jordan 9 and as you can see from these sketches right here that tinker had from back in the day there were definitely a lot of cool iterations and ideas that came along the way before they got to this final product but honestly i think they did a great job then and still when i see these retro colorways i always get excited so now wrapping up to the side of the foot right here you're gonna have your polyurethane all throughout the midsole and a matte black finish and then you're gonna have your red jump man right here on the side of the heel and if you look at both of these shoes right here real closely you notice that the jump mans are actually facing forward which this is a huge hit when it comes to the ogs this is why i love reviewing the ogs because jordan brand has been getting back in their bag when it comes to bringing back the old school nostalgic cuts the materials the shapes just all the different things again it's very hard to replicate you have new systems you have new requirements you have to use a lot of synthetic materials there's a lot of different things that come along the way when when it comes to the process of creating a new product for the public now compared to back in the day. But either way, I think so far, so good. Now taking it up to the upper, you're gonna essentially have like three panels when it comes to the olive material. And this is gonna be like a felt like material. So you're gonna have the panel that runs right here around the toe on the mud guard area. And then you're gonna have the panel right here on the back end around the heel. And then another panel here around the top of the collar. Now when it comes to the vamp and the black leather all throughout the upper, this is honestly, really solid and i think they did a good job on these saying that we are in current state of you know 2024 the retro from 2012 they were cool but during that time like all the air jordan nines that were coming out they were all just like super stiff felt plasticky the toes were turned up and real narrow like they didn't the shape wasn't right there was a lot of things as to why people could not like the shoe if, if that makes sense but at the time it was like you get what you get and either way we were still copping the kicks and i <laughs> i had every single colorway that came out the citrus nines the anniversary nines the powder blues the, the uh man it was just a bunch of stuff dropping i still had all the pairs now these come standard with a pair of rope laces and then you have your plastic pieces right here on the eye stay area that's going to go on both sides now as you guys know tinker had his hand in other designs when it comes to nike sneakers as well so he took inspiration from some of those previous models and incorporated that into the Air Jordan 9. And that's where you got this booty system right here with this nylon. So you got your Air Jordan branding here on 
on a separate patch and that's gonna be in the red text. And then behind it, you got that OG classic style. Well, it's not 100% OG, you know, back in the day they didn't. Well, actually the QR code, I think the QR code was an invented around 1993-94 actually if I'm not mistaken let me know down below in the comment section but either way as you can see very similar to that OG style which is a piece that I love as well and then you got your detached well somewhat detached area here with your pulley tab in the back end similar to the eights how you can see is detached now on the previous retros they actually attached this piece I think I talked about it on the playoff eights if you guys haven't seen that review go check that one out but it's cool to see that it's detached as well uh, because like I said, this is how it used to be back in the day. So they're still keeping those nice little details about the shoe and keeping that consistent as well. Now, another thing that's really consistent on this shoe is gonna be that red globe right here on the back end of the foot. And you're gonna have the jump man in the center of that with your black circle bordering that area. And then you're gonna have your 23 branding here. And this is honestly, I would say the same font essentially as the outsole just obviously this one stretched more but essentially the same font right there and then that's going to be matching the same color as well with that olive 23 tech now taking out the insoles and the sock liner if you look right here you can see you have an all black collar and then you're gonna have a black sock liner here and then a red nike air branding on there giving you that classic og vibe but this is where i got kind of confused i was happy for a second but then i was kind of sad i thought that was a polyurethane insole but this is actually a dream cell insole as you can see right here at the end of the day this is kind of like in the middle of the bunch if that makes any sense so you got the blue one that you classic see everybody you know those is always on the cheaper shoes then you get something like this and you're like okay they stepping it up a little bit and then you get that polyurethane on there and you're like oh they did it justice but i'm glad they at least did the dream cell on these saying that it's an og colorway like we always talk about if they're not gonna do polyurethane on everything at least do it on the ogs so that's a deeper look at this sneaker let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section now let's talk about the numbers the market where everything stands right now did you cop this shoe i just kind of want to hear everybody's mindset behind this model because again it's not a sought after model and it's not a sought after colorway yet at the same time a lot of nostalgia og colorway you know you can't go wrong with it in so many stances as well so i think it checks a lot of boxes for other people and some people it may just be flying under the radar because they don't even know to look for it which is a reason why i want to make the videos at the same time so people can understand how great a sneaker really is and they might have just never really knew about it so how do you guys feel let me know down below in the comment section i posted a poll on my instagram story to see what everybody else thinks so let's see what they said 67 percent of the people said fire and 33 percent of the people said trash how do you guys feel about those poll results is that an accurate representation of this shoe the times, the market, you name it, so many different elements to why people may or may not like this shoe. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Now, when it comes to overall, I guess, resale or market value, whatever you may say, I literally just went to the mall, I picked these up. Retail, I think, was like 200 or 210 bucks. I think it was 210 bucks. Let me see real quick what these things are hitting for. So, uh, right now, $222 is the last sale. That's literally just over retail. If you're in certain states, you're probably paying tax. So you're probably paying somewhere around that price or a little bit more for the shoe. It makes sense in this current climate, in the current state of the world, all the different things that are going on right now. I can understand that. And again, this has always been one of those shoes that kind of flies under the radar. And then like five years later, because they take a long time to retro, they just like shoot up in price. And we've seen this happen multiple times over the years. Uh, even with the previous, the 2002 retro, the 2012 retro, and now seeing these. So I don't know, honestly, for me, I think this is a great cop, but I said this before, I think in the last like monthly update video, this is a shoe that is gonna sell out in big sizes. And I'm sure for a lot of people, they sold out. I had to hit like four different stores. I went to two different malls and I found one size 13. I got the pair and I was super excited because I wanted the shoe, but at the same time, the big sizes sell out. So if you look online or if you look at these local shops, you're gonna see probably like a 10 and a half, maybe 11. They're gonna have all those smaller sizes. 
but anything up like those sizes always sell out they go and that's why they have a little bit more resale value because everybody just buys up the big sizes and then, and then they sell them to us for more because we can't get them even though they got all these other small sizes available so for some of y'all that's watching that don't wear a size 13 you probably could get these on sale at some point which would be very convenient but i think for me being a size 13 and some of those other collectors out there you might want to prioritize grabbing the shoe a little bit sooner that way just in case if you do have a chance to get it for retail that might be the best deal you can get at the time and you might be able to get it for lower later i don't know we shall see but i think just in this current state with the sizes and everything you probably better off grabbing the shoe sooner than later in my opinion that's how i feel so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section again if you guys enjoyed this i would love to see you guys subscribe to the channel i hope you guys enjoy more videos in the future i have fully curated playlists filled with a ton of different reviews just like this so make sure you guys check those out after this one and i'll see you guys in another one I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down and send my DNA. The only 